Welcome to December's TBR Blackjack game. I am your host, Steph, and every month on my channel, Coffee Over Apples, I do a card game based off of the card game 21, also known as Blackjack, in which we play the game and each card has different prompts on it. As I play the game, if I win a hand, then I keep those cards and I play those prompts up until I get to six cards. If I lose, then I have to choose from my punishment jar, which I've gotten a punishment every month since I started doing this game in what, August? July? August, I wanna say. It's been like five to six months of punishment and I'm hoping that this month we don't get one because I can't take it. <sighs> okay, so the way that blackjack works is you have to get your cards to equal up to the number 21 without going over and you play against the dealer. So if you have an ace, an ace counts as a number one or a number 11. And if you have a jack, queen, or king, that counts as a number 10. So a queen plus an ace can equal either 11 or it can either equal 21. I hope that makes sense. Here we go. Welcome to another round of TBR Blackjack. And here comes our dealer on cue as usual. Excuse me. For December, we will be playing with Peppermint Bark, a wintry treat, mmm, yummy. So, bedding, a peppermint bark. Okay, someone else picks for me, and an adult book, yes, I got 17, all right dealer, Let's see what you have, okay, so I have to assume that the dealer has 21, but I have 17, so it would not be wise to hit, so I'm going to stay. Dealer has 14, okay, they have to hit. Someone else picks for me. I have to phone a friend. So, I actually have Preet from the Bookish Nook online for me to call her and she is going to choose any book that she recommends and I have to either go to my library or find it and read it. So, I'm excited and nervous because it can literally be anything. Yes, I can see you. Oh no, wait, do I have to press something? Oh, there we go. Oh. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay? Yes, I can see you. It's perfect. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this last minute. No problem. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. So, okay, so the TBR uh, card that I got was someone else picks for me, so I had to call a friend. <laughs> anything. Anything, right? Anything, and yeah, and I'll find it and I'll read it. <laughs> Okay. I have a really good one for you. Okay. Tell me. So uh, are you recording now? Should I? Yeah. Should go, I say? Yeah. Should go I ahead. Say? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So I wanted to read the second volume of Devil's Line. Oh! I'm so excited because I wanted to read it anyway. <laughs> I like thoroughly enjoyed it more than the first volume so I want 
happy to read that and enjoy what I'm doing. So yeah. Yay! Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to talk to you about the first one. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. That's a great pick. I thought you were gonna choose like to be honest I would have read anything, but I thought you were gonna choose something thick like City of Brass or like something <laughs> Something like that or Like Poppy War <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're the best. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay then. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I am so excited with Preet's pick. I cannot wait to read the second volume of Devil's Line. This was the book that was our obscure pick for our manga book club, The Host Club, for the month of November. We read volume one. So to read volume two and then include it in the 25 days of manga, ah, I'm so happy! <laughs> Devil's Line is basically about these vampires. Um, so vampires are, we're following like this, not a couple, but we're following this guy and he's a vamp, he's a half vampire, but he's kind of working for the police. And so he's going around hunting vampires and vampires look exactly like humans. It's really hard to tell um, what they look like. And they're kind of, they're not really illegal because there are laws that allow humans and vampires to be married. It's just that they can never be in a relationship because if their heart gets pounding or they can never be in a physical relationship because if their heart gets pounding, then they'll end up eating the person that they're with. So, so far, warning, it is definitely for over 18 because I read volume one in November. I'm just saying, slightly hentai, be prepared for what you're getting yourself into. I did not know that going into it, so now you know. Thank you, Preet, so much for the card. Adult. Finally, finally I got this card because for the longest time, for the longest time, since March, I've been looking for an excuse to read the fourth Game of Thrones book, which is A Feast for Crows, and finally... <laughs> yes! I'm finally gonna get to read it. I'm so excited. In case you didn't know, the third book, A Storm of Swords, was one of my favorite books in the beginning of 2020, and I did a full book review on it when I first started my channel earlier this year. So. Please definitely check that out, but I'm so excited to get to this. I want to finish the Game of Thrones series. Yes, it's not over. Yes, he's still writing. Yes, we may never get an ending, but I just want to be in this world again. I love it so much. I love these characters. I love how horribly awful everything is, and it's just chaos, and I love it so, so much. Okay, next round. Another peppermint bark. Ooh, random letter generator, okay. And a free choice, yes! Okay, so I can do this as a five, no, a six, or a 16. I'm gonna assume the dealer has 15. Last time I split, I lost. So I'm not gonna split this time. I'm gonna go with 16 and I'm gonna stay. Ooh, dealer has 14, they have the hit. to a winning streak. Yes. Thank you. I got these two cards. Woohoo, woohoo, hoo. For the card. Random letter generator. I have to 
do a random letter generator online and then I have to find a book with either this letter in the first letter of part of the title or the first letter of the author's name. Okay, so here we go. Random letter generator. Number of letters, one in English and generate. Letter Z. What am I gonna do with a letter Z? Letter Z? Letter Z. everywhere. I just ran around my house for a couple of minutes and I had to go through my entire TBR list on Goodreads to find a Z in the beginning of part of the title or an author's name. Not at the end, not in the middle, not like three quarters of the way because Z's were everywhere, just not where I needed them to be. So I finally found one. I ended up choosing Thus Spoke Zarathustra. Try saying that three times fast. Thus spoke Zarathustra, thus spoke Zarathustra. <sighs> okay, by Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche? Nietzsche, sorry. First time reading this author, I have heard so many things about them. I've studied bits and pieces of their writing. They are a very prominent philosopher. I studied them all throughout philosophy courses in college, but I never actually sat down and analyzed an entire book. So I've been wanting to do that, and this particular book is very prominent and known for a study into comparing um, religious aspects and definitions of good versus evil and what it means to be human, I believe. So if I can end this year, on a book that I've been wanting to read for a very long time that hopefully ends up being a very interesting study into the humanities. I'm here for it. This is great. This is not a bad thing. Thank you. I love it. For the card. Free choice. Yes! Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna use this for one of our manga picks for the host club and that's going to be One Punch Man Volume 1 because we are reading volumes 1 through 3 for the month of December and I love One Punch Man. Love the anime even though I didn't finish it. I need to add that to my must finish list but I loved that first season. And in case you don't know anything about One Punch Man, it's just so fun. It's so funny and action packed. I wanna say that it's a seinen manga, but it's about this guy and he just worked out so much that he became bald. And now he's like the strongest person ever. So all of these monsters keep invading earth and trying to do horrible things. And he's upset because all he needs to do is punch them one time and the fight's over. So he's looking for a challenge and he just can never find it. It's so funny. You have to pick up this manga if you're looking for something action-y, but comedy. It's just, it's just so fun. We are talking about One Punch Man on December 20th, so I will leave the link for our live show and our Discord in the description below. All right, here we go. Come on, December, be good to me. Read a sequel. Yes, I really could use that. Ooh, and a physical book. Okay, so eight plus nine is 17. All right. Okay, so I have 17. I'm going to stay. Dealer has 14, they have to hit. And 
they bust. Yes, I win. Yes, freedom. Thank you. And thank you. For the card. Physical book. A perfect card because I'm going to go with To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. This is the pick or one of the picks for the month of December for our sci-fi book club, the Interstellar Book Club, and we actually have two books that we are reading for the month of December. So we have two short stories. We got this one and another one called Mostly Hero. So I've never read Becky Chambers before. I've seen everyone and their mom rave about how wonderful these books are and I cannot wait. Um, from what I understand that this one is not connected directly to the Wayfarer series. It's like a separate, I don't think it's a, even a spinoff. It's just another sci-fi book from her. Um, but from what I understand of the synopsis is that we are following an astronaut or a space explorer and they've been traveling for a really long time um, something about some sort of scientific endeavor that has ended up with some medical I don't know if it's medical enhancements to the astronauts where they can survive extreme temperatures and they can live for a much longer time so after being in space conducting research for so long, I believe that they actually come back to Earth and everything is different from how it was when they were last home. So they're kind of like readjusting. I don't know if I'm understanding that correctly, but it sounds really good. I'm in the mood for some short sci-fi, some short reads for December because I've got some short reads planned and I've got some long reads planned and I'm hoping that this all comes together. And this cover is like, beautiful I'm absolutely loving this cover design yes loving it props to the art team over at Voyager and then also we are reading mostly hero by Anna Burns I know nothing about this all I know is that it's 50 pages it's very short I will probably knock that out in a day so who knows okay for the card read a sequel <sighs> this is super ambitious but one of my goals for the end of 2020 after doing the end of the year book tag was to finish Tokyo Ghoul Re which is the second season of Tokyo Ghoul right now I am on book four I think I'm on book four of the second season and there's 14 volumes so I need to read 10 of those manga which might work because I'm planning on participating in the 25 days of manga in December so that's 10 books right there plus the three for One Punch Man and then also we are reading uh, for our manga book club we are reading the first volume of Sweat and Soap and it's about this guy who's obsessed with this girl's sweat smell like he's attracted to her I don't know it sounds funny it's it sounds etchy I don't know but it's gonna be fun all right guys that is it for this TBR game let me know what you thought I am so excited that I have no punishments this month I'm so excited. Okay, yes, we are gonna end this year really strong. I hope you guys are having a great reading month. Enjoy the rest of December, and till next time, I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Bye!